Good morning. Welcome to Options Center. It's the weekend edition. Thanks for joining me here, you guys. Um, if you're new, go down to that bottom right hand corner, hit that Options Center logo and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support that's been happening, all the likes and all those things. Uh, please check me out on uh, Twitter, putting out lots of charts on there throughout the trading days on the weekend. Uh, we have a Discord here as well. Lots of things happening. So it's all in the description if you want to check any of those things out. But let's get down to business. We have SPX. We're going to do a multiple time frames as usual on the weekend. And we're going to keep this real simple. We want to make this a, a real binary, simple uh, situation because we may have to wait. This might be a little bit of a volatile but choppy um, range type week. We, uh, we're we looking at the FOMC on February 1st, and that is not this coming week, but the week after. So those are some things that we have to look out to, and we just can't... Um, <clears throat> we just can't be one directional, I believe, right now. So what do I mean by that? We'll get down to lower time frames. But for now, I want to show the same stance that we've been in before. This is a long term trend line. It doesn't mean that we can't continue to pop and hit the trend line up more. But we 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 touched it. We had a sharp reaction. And I think we go lower. I'm anticipating going lower. The a bear market. It is, we have the conditions to go lower. Now, um, we are making lower lows, lower highs, lower lows. And we're still underneath that 8 EMA. Until we start closing above there, and then we still have some work to do to get above this 20. But until that happens, uh, you know, we're still in the downtrend. Uh, we're in this neutral stance bears to neutral stance on the indicators on the monthly and the long term and that uh, that kind of shows in the price action and you know, we've kind of gone sideways for months in a sense <clears throat> on the weekly time frame we are clearly in the weekly in a downtrend we're in this channel uh, we're going to keep this real simple above the channel we start to get bullish and until otherwise we're going to be bearish. This candle here, I consider that a hangman candle. Some people disagree. Uh, some people are saying it's a hammer. I saw that. No big deal. It doesn't matter. Uh, either way, it's a indecision candle. And uh, we need to see how it finishes. Does it finish above? Do we get follow through to the upside after this indecision? Do we get it inside until the week after? Or... Do we start getting to the downside? This is uh, this is an indecision candle, and uh, we have to treat it as such. So we have to have follow through in either direction before um, thinking that this is a you, you, you know we can't um, we can't bet this is a bear <clears throat> move until this candle gets broken to the downside or to the upside. <laughs> Hope I was clear on that. Okay. Now, going to the daily trend is our friend. This clearly shows the channel, downtrend channel, and also the triangulation that we're heading into. And I, I drew this triangle from here. I, you have a lot more touches. I believe it fits a little bit better. So I want to make it clear from this point. Um, let me back back up a little bit and I'll just kind of uh, circular circle this out this I want this to be very simple if we consider this move to be one move and this is done and over and now we have to to balance that out so after that move then you have this balance out in time rather than price and we continue lower as a continuation that's what that would mean but there's another way to look at it if this whole thing is one move from here and then we start correcting this is a start of a correction from this we can balance in price so from the low here perhaps we have an a a b small triangle here for a b and then a c to uh, to complete the correction or balance from this large move. 
Okay, that's the two ways that I'm looking at it. We're keeping it very, very binary. And if and when we break one of these directions, then we can start introducing the other scenarios. Okay, we break to the downside. Now, was this a series of one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and we're gonna go much, much lower, uh, very bearish? Or was this just um, a move uh, like an A and then a B triangle and then a C for the last move before we start heading higher? Those are the things we're gonna have to look at. If we break up, is this just an A, B, C? Or is this a one, two, three, four, five continued up? You know, that's the things. But for now, we just want to know, are we breaking to the upside? Or are we breaking to the downside? Then we can go from there. Okay, just want to keep it very, very simple. <clears throat> and... Um, really we can go to the 65 minute but it's not going to show much more it's all sorts of ways this can go i did uh i tried out that line there to see if uh that would be an appropriate one i still i still like this one better it seems to hit all those points a little bit better okay so on the 65 minute on the spx here we do have, we had a movement, sharp movement on Friday, but I do believe that's uh, going right into resistance and we could head lower here to fill out this triangle. And it, all week long, this could, this, if, if it's that B scenario uh, where this is the uh, start of a B triangle inside of here, really one of the scenarios we could look at is this the A, B, and we're just filling out the triangle. C, and which would be a three-way move. These are all three-way moves. For C, three wave move up for D, three wave for E, and then probably FOMC whenever, you know, if I have that out correctly there, but uh, and then a direction. Now that could happen. We do have some catalysts throughout the week and uh, with the with the uh, employment and PC at the end of the week on Friday. So, you know, maybe that could be the actual catalyst and and FOMC just kind of um, exacerbates what happens then. So you, you just got to stay on your toes. There's a, um, we're just so data dependent right now for catalysts that we can't guarantee. Maybe we make a break this week. I, I can't, I can't promise anything. We don't know. Nobody knows. <clears throat> so those are something to keep in mind. Uh, try to keep all the jargon, all the, all the talk that's happening out of it and just look at the technicals. It'll let you know. The price will let you know when it starts breaking these points. And then you can, uh, you just play off levels. Okay. So we'll keep it as simple as that. We break up or break down. We're filling out a triangle right now. So don't get it while we're inside of it. Don't get beat up. Don't be uh, huge directionally until this breaks out either direction. All right. And then once we get that, we can trend for a little bit and uh, we'll we'll start to work on uh, other situations after. All right. Thanks for joining us. Now, a little bit shorter video than usual. But um, if there's anything else you want to see, if you want to see individual stocks, uh, especially the big tech, things like that, or even the financials, whatever you want, put it in the comment. And uh, don't forget to like the videos. Thanks for your support. We'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful weekend.